Let's see if day two can live up to day one, then it's going to have a difficult time to start with. The National Hunt Flat Race, probably the low point of the festival for most people. Uh, the top one is Paul Gunnapin for Darren Thompson. Take a look for David Hooley, William Tell, Ryan Tamasebi, Bronx Bay for Paul Rhodes. And B. Fotheringham at the bottom's got two, Elm Brockwell and Raucous Mania. So just six runners in this then pretty much shows what people think of the National Hunt Flat Races. They're away and racing and a low-key start today too. Things can only get better. And it's Paul Gallopin that is taking them along then, leading by a length and a half. The winning trainer isn't going to mind at all though because he's a festival winner. And a festival winner is a festival winner. And Paul Gallopin is in the lead then from Bronx Babe in second. Take a look, he's third. Then William Tell fourth and... The bat two for B. Fotheringham, Raucous Mania and Elm Brockwell. So they're not making their way towards the first flight. And they've not got seven to take. They've not got eight to take. They're on the flat, on the level all the way. And it's Paul Gallopin who's in the lead. I'm rather surprised to see one or two people who normally have runners in these not got them. Derek Hinton likes a tilt at these. Graham Clutterbuck does as well. He's one of the people who champions the cause for these things. And um, surprisingly unrepresented then. So... Past the winning post they go, with a circuit they go, and Paul Gallopin is the leader by a good five or six lengths to take a look in second, and Bronx Babe third, William Tell is fourth, and then Raucous Mania and L Brockwell at the back. Just, well in fact there isn't only any trainer that doesn't get any prize money is there, because they've only got five trainers represented and nothing can fall over, so even if B Fotheringham comes fifth and sixth, he will still pick up some prize money for fifth. So, everyone's a winner. Paul Gallopin then is in the lead at the moment. Take a look, he's second. Bronx Baby's third and William Tell is fourth. And then Raucous Mania is fifth. And the one that's out of shot is L Brockwell, but they're making their way towards the midway point in the race. They've just gone past the water jump. And Paul Gallopin is galloping away in the lead. Leading by two lengths to take a look in second. Bronx Babe third, and William Tell, Raucous Mania, and L Brockwell. Somebody actually did ask me the other day, well, I think it was great, why I don't particularly like these, because they shouldn't, in effect, be any different to a two-mile flat race, and I'll commentate on plenty of them. I think it's just the fact that I know that these are totally pointless, because in real life they're to give these horses some experience of being on a racetrack, and most of these are never going to come back again after this season, so it's all a bit... Of a waste, but anyway, Paul Gallopin's in the lead. Take a look, his second, Bronx Baby's third. These three all appear to be going particularly well at the moment. William Tell under a bit of pressure in fourth, but now seems to be going again. And the Fotheringham pair are somewhat detached. And it's Paul Gallopin. Take a look, and Bronx Baby look like they're going to fight out the finish. Although William Tell might have something to say about that. But Paul Gallopin has yet to be headed, and William Tell is getting closer. Take a look on Bronx Babe, don't appear to be making any impression on Paul Gallopin and it may well be that William Tell has timed this one just about right in fourth at the moment because there's still over two furlongs to go and it's gradually getting closer and Paul Gallopin's had no company for some time and he's starting to tread water and Paul Gallopin is now only two lengths clear, William Tell is closing and inside the final furlong now just about as they pass the furlong pole uh, Bronx Babe in third and then take a look we might get an exciting finish yet Paul Gallopin now being overtaken by William Tell Bronx Babe trying to run on but racing up towards line this is going to be a second festival winner for Ryan Tamasabi as he takes it William Tell the winner Bronx Babe second take a look in Paul Gallopin and finally Raucous Mania and El Brockwell so we still got a bit of a bit of an exciting finish and Ryan Tamasabi won't mind because it's his second Festival winner, and there you go. Then William Tell wins it for Ryan Thomas. Semi Bronx Bay for Paul Road second. Take a look for David Hooley third. Paul Gallopin for Aaron Thompson fourth. Raucous Mania for B Fotheringham was fifth, and L Brockwell for the same trainer was sixth. But where were all the runners in the champion bumper?